There we go. Today, I think we're bringing Bond a booty back. I gotta put a little bit of patch right here, just put a little piece of metal in that spot there, and then we're gonna be good to, to slice this, fold it all up like we did over here, and then I'm gonna have to Bondo all that, and uh, then I'll be able to call our Bondo booty again. I thought it was gonna be no more Bondo booty, but it looks like we're gonna have to put, this time at least it's not like structural Bondo, it's just Bondo to make it look smoother. It's still gonna be Bondo booty. So I watched Emerson a lot yesterday, I took a lot in of what he was doing. This morning, I'm gonna try and give it a go before he gets here, see how much I can get done. Hopefully I don't mess it all up. I don't know if Emerson's gonna be proud of me or just like, bro, you should have waited. But I did it. I think it's I think it's looking good. Saying that a lot of people told me when I first started welding, a lot of you guys commented, you're like, oh, a grinder and paint makes you the welder you ain't. And that's totally what we're doing today. I just ground down all the shitty welds because that's all I can do. But like we got right here patched up and then I put a little panel down there too just to kind of block everything off. You guys remember yesterday I picked up this stuff. It's like the brush on seam sealer, if I could get a focus. Brush on seam sealer, so this stuff is like, for those of you that maybe don't know what seam sealer is or like didn't understand, if you look in like a lot of cars, so this is all welded and then under here, these are welded, but you see that goopy shit? This stuff, that's all seam sealer. And essentially what it does is it just goes in there and seals it so that it doesn't have to be. In our case, it's gonna take all the holes in between all the tack welds since we didn't do like a solid bead and it's gonna fill it. But what I read was that you can't do that and then bondo over top of it. So there is a couple spots that are gonna need bondo just to make it look nice. So essentially what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this fender and I am gonna return the bondo booty. Basically, I'm just gonna put bondo everywhere that I think it needs it. So like in this little gap, because right here there was bondo before, so this is kind of like, there's a weird little space there. I wanna fill that weird space. It sucks, it's already 12 o'clock. I started filming today at like 9.30ish. Just to give you guys a reference on like how long it takes. Cause even with the welding, like you can't do a continuous bead otherwise it fucks it up. And that's what happened. That's why we got all wavy at the front. Oh. Instantly smells like pulling overnights at the old shop. Doing the original Bono Booty Rest Repair. And it's gross. It looks a little funny too, cause I tried to keep it from going like in these seams, cause I wanna like seam seal that. Also, while I'm thinking about it, lower windshield banners. You guys wanted them, you guys get them. They're gonna be available first at Stance Worth Seattle. Come out, say hi, and grab one of those banners first. You guys will be the first round of people that are available to get some. And then after that, whatever is remaining will go on the website. So come out, see us, and grab one. We're gonna have a bunch of other stuff too, but that'll be like the first time those are for sale. What are you towing? <laughs> Was that in there? Yeah. Well, it came with a trailer hitch, remember? Well, I guess it's an actual proper trailer box, at least. It towed you 240, does that count? Slide my compressor over. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Making a mess, boys. What did you say about cooking? Your mom's cooking? Garbage. <laughs> Just knows I'm lying. <laughs> Is this your water? Well, it's yours now. It was mine. Yo, if you were your mom and you pulled up to Wendy's, how would you order a Frosty? She wouldn't get one. Okay, if, you, if, you, she, if your mom was ordering you a Frosty? She wouldn't because I'd be driving. Okay, so if you were, if you had your mouth sewed shut and your mom had to order you a Frosty when you were driving. Well, how would she Whoa, order that? what'd you do here? Bro, that's, you gotta, I'm just trying to get to the freaking thing. This is all one piece from here all the way to here. And also people are always like, oh, got it, save some weight. <laughs> Do you know how much this weighs? Yeah, but it looks clean when it's full. It looks way better when it's full. This weighs half a pound, maybe. Maybe one pound. Anyways, back to topic. Your mom, at Wendy's, ordering a Frosty. I don't want anything. Come on, man. I'll play you guys Instagram story from when we went to Wendy's the other day, so oh. you guys understand, because Emerson won't do it again. I got the cute chocolate and the vanilla. So one chocolate, one vanilla? No, two. Two chocolate. Yeah, two chocolate, two vanilla. One vanilla. What's <laughs> up? 
Anything else for you? No. No. Thank you. So you guys gotta follow us on Instagram so you see the dumb shit that he always doesn't do on camera. Pussy. Almost at 10,000. We just want you to follow us. Hey, can I pass you this and you take it out for me? Oh, this is ugly. Like, there's no way I could gut this car. This is ugly. We're aware that this can be done probably a lot faster. Today's day four of this. Reason being, we just want to learn. We want to learn properly. We want to take our time and make sure it's done right. These obviously aren't full days. Like, there's hours of me editing and me doing a million other things in between. Wake up, do it till the end of the day kind of thing. It wouldn't take us that long. I'd say this is probably a two day job and we've made it four by just taking our time trying to do it right. Anyways, I just got back from getting a haircut. I hear Emerson in there already started and I picked up something from the PO box and I think I'm ready for this to be the last day of this. Let's see what he's up to in there. Hey big guy, I got you a coffee. Yeah. Nice flannel bro, you look so fancy, what are you doing? Cause all my clothes that I wore, never had time to put in the freaking washing machine. <laughs> so I'm like running out of clothes. Thank you for helping me with all your time. Ooh, just shot right out. They're getting the wrong ones. No, no, it's a CRX. He said I got you a CRX. He didn't say I got you a Civic. Oh. He said I found this Hot Wheels CRX. It's for you. So Sam, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Sam, thank you for that. For those of you guys that don't follow me on Instagram, that's where you guys see most of that. But I have a huge Hot Wheels collection. I love when you guys send me them. There's like a little row of ones that you guys have sent me versus the ones that I bought. I don't know if we closed this out last night, but I got to wet sanding all the spot putty that I put on there. This side is like basically perfect. And then Emerson's just gonna finish grinding this down or I can finish grinding this down or someone is gonna finish grinding this down. And then all we gotta do is apply the sealant and we're, we're done, dude. I'm so done with this. Seam it. We gonna apply some of them seam sealant. We gonna seam that up right real nice. We gonna take this seam sealer, brush on seam sealer. You can see right here. It's in French, but in English this would say, you gonna take that seam sealer, you gonna apply it with a paintbrush, and you gonna smush it in the cracks and she gonna work. Looks like Bondo. What the hell? Oh, that stinks. Put the lid back on for now. <laughs> We're not doing that yet. The garage door is still closed. We ain't opening this. Dude, this stuff looks pretty chunky to apply with a brush. Like, I thought it was going to be like a little bit thinner. I'm going to put on gloves because I do not need to seam seal myself to myself. I don't know how much to use. Probably more than that. I know, but initially it's just very sticky and doesn't want to go anywhere. I see nothing. Huh? Yep. Oh no. <laughs> Look at that! I seem sealed my knee, dog. There goes your hair. That's it. What does it say if you get this shit on you? Fucking go to the hospital? Seek medical care. <laughs> well, this shit just doesn't work the way he said it would. Oh, sorry, that was... <laughs> That's a little harder than I thought. You stick your finger in my ear all the time. This mask is so tight, dude. Does it leave a mark on my nose? Um, now that I've like seen this working, go do like the do I that it was side, messier. and then let it dry. I thought like when when I think just the way he explained it to us, we thought it was gonna be like super liquidy and everywhere. So I was gonna do the bondo first, but I can do the bondo and then just like just touch this up around there. But I'm not, I'm trying to speak English, but. Essentially, we've let it all dry like to the point where it should be good like it's hard I gooped it all in all the cracks and everything tried to fill it all up So that's good. And then I sand it down. Oh, no, it's the other side. I sand it down I sand it down this little bondo spot and essentially all we have to do now is we have to mount the fenders So once we mount the fenders I'll be able to line up like where the bondo starts and ends and how perfect the line has to be because Obviously, I don't want to spend like two hours on this spot if it's all gonna be hidden behind the fender and like you can gauge it but until it's actually 100% mounted, it's kind of impossible to tell. So thankfully, I think that's all we're gonna be doing for today. Like I, I would love to just throw the fenders on right now, but I wanna roll the car out and clean up like the floor has just got like an inch of dust and dirt and shit all over it. It's just really gross. I like to roll the car out, clean the car off, clean the floor and everything. Then we can do this tomorrow. We've just been like going at this for so long. I'm getting so bored of it. So, so that's it. That's how we repaired the rust. We completely built a new wheel well. I guess if you guys have plastic ones, you don't really have to worry about that. It's not the same, but that's what we did for the metal ones. And I think it was pretty sick. It was a cool learning experience. It took forever. Definitely a longer job than just slapping some Bondo on, but it's supposed to be 
like this should be a forever -er fix then forever, -er. forever -er. a long term a, a longer term a longer term than the bondo for sure hope you guys are having a good day and i hope this video made your day better if it did like it if it didn't like it if you didn't like it don't do anything thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next one when we will be putting the fenders on finally that's all thank you guys so much for watching peace out and stay committed Bye.